Happy last two days of 2018, everyone, and how better to celebrate saying farewell to an old year than with a few New Year's resolutions. Resolution number one. I resolved to attempt to release at least one new scripted video a month in 2019. I really do appreciate your patience as I've been posting best of clips for over a year, and the hiatus did help me find the time to get a lot of work done on some longer term projects. Longer term projects that are still in development and still have a lot more work left to be done on them. But it's time to show you stuff that you haven't seen before. And at the risk of uttering some famous last words, I think one scripted video a month is a manageable goal that I can actually achieve while continuing to work on the longer term projects, as well as whatever paid work may come my way. So each month I will strive to give you one scripted video. Sometimes that scripted video may be a comedy sketch. Sometimes it may be an obsession of the moment. Sometimes it may be a D-list. And sometimes it may be an episode of a brand new series that I'm premiering towards the end of January. Stay tuned for that. I'll give you a little hint. It has to do with theme parks, but it's not shot at theme parks, so that makes it easier for me, but still involves the content you crave. What will I be releasing on the other weeks of each month? Uh, some vlogs, including a two-part follow-up to How Dave Spent His Summer called How Dave Spent His Fall. Look forward to that in February. You know, I release summer in November, I release fall in February. This is just how the Doggins calendar works. Beyond that, I'm gonna try dabbling in some things that'll hopefully find that balance of being entertaining without taking a whole lot of time and energy to produce. So I'm just gonna be chasing popular YouTube trends. Hope you like unboxing videos and Let's Plays. I'm only slightly kidding about that. And then on the weeks where I don't have the time or energy for anything else, then maybe once in a while there will be another best of clip, but they won't be the dominant feature on the channel anymore. Resolution number two. I resolve that all scripted videos I release will be available, at least in rough cut form, to patrons at the $2 and up level before the end of the previous calendar month. In other words, that new series I mentioned that's premiering at the end of January? Well, you can watch a rough cut of the pilot right now with just a $2 Patreon pledge. Resolution number three. This year, I'm gonna actually finally fulfill all those Patreon stretch goals I've reached over the past few years. That's right, 2019 will be the year I release my first feature riff, the year I release the Artie mockumentary, and assuming I retain or exceed my current support level, the year I release my first DVD collection. And resolution number four, I swear, by all that is holy, by the end of 2019 at the very latest, I will at the very least, start releasing the Blitz Travifornia. Most of it will only be four years out of date. So, how can you help support me in these resolutions? Well, as always, the single biggest thing you can do is share my videos with all your friends. Because the bigger my audience, the bigger the number of people who can hold me accountable by yelling at me on social media for not releasing things. But the biggest way you can tangibly support my content is by supporting that Patreon I kept mentioning. I don't have an AdSense account, so Patreon is literally the only way I have ever been paid for the videos on this channel. But what about those of you who want to support financially but don't want to commit to a recurring payment? Well, there are a couple of one-off ways to support me financially, and I've collected those at doggins.com support. So go to that page to learn how you can help me out. But I'll tell you right now, one of those ways is I finally launched a tea public store. That's right, I'm introducing Doggins branded merch. Now that Christmas is over. Yeah, that's brilliant marketing on my part. At the moment, the only thing in the store is apparel with the Obsession and D-List logos, but I will be adding more designs as time goes on. And since I just launched the store a day before this video went up, if you're watching this video when it's new, those items are still on sale, as all new Tee Public items are for the first 72 hours. But even if you can't support my channel financially, or even if you just don't feel like it, I want to thank you for watching my nonsense. Thank you for bearing with me through a hectic 2018, thank you for your patience with my longer term projects, and I promise I will do my best to bring you more of the nonsense you like in 2019. So until next year, this is Dave, signing off.